Some suggest that Teo is the victim of catfishing. Both Teo and this term were part of more than 1 million Google searches yesterday, but what is it? Well, Two News reporter Max Resnick met with a social media expert to talk about how to protect yourself from catfishing, and he's live in our newsroom tonight. Well, if you're not familiar with what catfishing is, it's when someone takes your identity, your picture, your likeness, uses that in a way to develop an online romance, an online relationship. And while we still don't know if that is the case with Manti Teo, there are some who are speculating uh, that, that he may have been involved or maybe he wasn't. But it is the subject of a documentary. It's the subject of an MTV show. And uh, a lot of people are wondering, could this happen to me? Now, we've heard from viewers involved in charitable organizations who say their members were scammed out of money and gifts by people assuming fake identities. It's not an uncommon thing. I met with a social media strategist here in Tulsa today whose message is clear when it comes to meeting people online. You have the ability to research people, images, faces. You can see if they have friends in common with you. You can find out what someone does for a living. Cindy Morrison says we should use Google on ourselves because it's possible someone could be using your picture pretending to be you. I think you should always Google yourself and see if anyone is using your identity online. You always need to do a credit check. But the fact is, once you post a picture that's out there, it's out there for, for anyone to clip, copy, and use as their own. Now, this is a conversation we've been talking about on Facebook and on our uh, website, KJRH.com. Just a quick comment uh, from Kevin Withers, who says that he was the victim of catfishing. Uh, so he says that he actually eventually met the person in person, noticed that they weren't the same pictures that uh, they were. he was communicating with online, and he said uh, they were actually mad that he was no longer interested in them. So it is a phenomenon that occurs a lot. If you want to join the conversation, you can. It's at facebook.com slash KJRHTV. We're also talking about it at KJRH.com. Live in the newsroom, Max Resnick, 2 News works for you.